to the channel. So, we got some good news. So, as you seen last video, this thing wouldn't start. But, now, I'll show you guys a little video of it running. Can't run it very long because I still don't have coolant in it. And still got to check everything over. But, it's getting painted this week, either Friday or Saturday. So, we got to get a lot of stuff done. So, we're going to start this up for you guys, let you hear it. It's a little smoky in here. We're gonna catch you guys in a minute. All right, as you can see, it's in there running. We are trying to get, well, I am trying to get the air bubbles out of the radiator and the coolant system. So it's in there running. It's full of fluids. We're just waiting for to get to operating temperatures. And then we will be putting the fenders on Putting the doors on, putting the hoods on, getting the hole, the holes drilled for the. So that'll probably be tomorrow. Today is already what 11 o'clock, I think. Time's going by us when you're having so much fun with a race car. So that'll probably be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, so I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. So we are going to be putting the passenger side rotor and brake caliper on and the new brakes on. I would record it for you guys and it's just, just you know, time lapse. But every time when I do that, I get copyrighted so i'm not gonna do it right now until i figure out how to not be copyrighted so if you guys know how to not be copyrighted when you put some music in leave a comment below because i can't figure it out with worth a dang so we're gonna replace these pads and we'll get back with you guys after this side's done all right so we got the other side done i'll show you guys I'm going to show you guys that. It's all done. We're waiting on the copper O-rings for the brakes. So we can get them all done. So that side's completely done. So now we are working on the driver's side. Which, as you know, we got a new shock or strut. And we have to get 5% camber. We got it. I don't know if you guys see that. But now we have to go get two washers. One right here and one on this side. And we'll weld them together. And as you can see, I got a pry bar right here. And that will give me my camber that I need. But. Right there is way too much for what we need. So, we gotta push it back. As you can see, it's right at three, a little over three. So we'll play with it, get to where we want it. Hold on guys, I gotta pitch down for a minute. Gosh, gosh, gosh. See, we are in between. Let me just go a little bit more. Right there's five percent. So we got five percent camber. Or, yeah, camber. So I'll probably go get washers.
tonight or tomorrow and mark where it needs to be. I'll go take it to Brad, have him weld it, because my welder doesn't really work out here, so. So, yeah, so. Then tomorrow, we are going to be tightening everything up on this strut, because this is, I'm going to leave this like this for right now. Then we're going to put more antifreeze in it. Then we are going to be putting the fenders on, the bumper, front bumper, and the back bumper. Then we will try, try to get the hood on and the trunk on. Then probably the next day we'll be putting the doors on and be sanding everything again. So. That being said, we guys will catch you tomorrow. Say bye. Bye. So, as you seen yesterday, we got this sucker running. She's full of fluids. I just added a little bit more because I left it sat, sit overnight and it settled. Air bubbles came up. So, we got them copper washers that I was telling you guys about. Uh, now, it's time to put the fenders on. The doors on the front bumper. We gotta go get it sanded. It has to be, I believe, it's going to be painted either Friday or Saturday. So, I'm trying to hurry up, get it rushed, get it painted. That way, I can go get it stickered. So, with that being said, catch you guys back when the fenders are done welcome back so the fenders are done they are on they're primed once we get the front bumper on should be good we got this one on we just gotta get this bracket on but the other one did not want to take so i think we're going to do uh self tap not self tappers but a pop rivet so we got that done i'm gonna bring the front bumper in get it all nice and snugged then we will be working on the doors so once i get the front bumper on catch you guys in a minute all right so there you have it front bumpers on just for temporary i gotta put pop rivets in each corner so the front bumpers on so now we are going to be working on the driver's side door first get that down then we got start up the freaking air compressor and get the pop rivet in. So once we get the door on, I'll catch you guys there. Alright, so there we go. We got the door on. You guys can see it. You guys can't really see me, but okay. So we are going to be drilling right here, all the way down here and being getting ready for the pop rivet so i'm gonna start drilling once i get that done i'll catch back with you guys and see how things are looking all right so there you have it we got all the holes drilled we got all the holes drilled <sighs> So now we are going to get the air compressor, sorry, and get it running, get it to get air in here, and we're going to be pop riveting these on. So we'll catch you guys once this is all done. Alright, so there you have it. This one's done. Don't look at that. It'll be alright. The buff. So this side's done. All we have to do is the back right here and this door is done besides for the little mirror cover right here so once we do this we'll get this side all done we'll catch you guys in a minute welcome back as you see bumpers on the hood's on it's already been cut and I got the trunk right here 
we're going to be doing the same thing what I did to the hood, cut some of this inner support, support out because we don't need it. So once I get that done, I'll show you guys what I did. And all right, so we got it all, all cut out. There it is. So that's what we cut out. Fold it up right up like a burrito. Now, just cut myself. All right. So now we gotta get the holes for the pins so we gotta go measure them real quick and catch you guys once it's on all right so there you have it the car is outside yay not very long though because it's already 10 40 10 48 so I am going to start saying it, then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so we got shut down. Start pouring down the rain outside. So we got this side done, the gut bumper's done. We got it all the way to the right, about here. Working on this stick right now, and it just started down pouring. So, with that being said, because it's already 1.30, I mean, 12.30. So, unless this rain quits real quick and I push it back out and start saying any more. But, if not, well. Well, if not, this will be the end of the video for today. Catch you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to It's the Next Day. I got a good old Mikey over here, and as you can see in the background, the car is loaded because of Mikey. Yeah. Well, Mikey's mom. Hey. <laughs> so we're going. We're on our way to go get it painted. So we will... I'm awake. Oh, you're awake. <laughs>
Peace. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Boop.